Hey, what's up, man? This is Ginger Pop. Short review. So I watched over your entire game, and there's a lot of strengths, a lot of areas of improvement that you really have. So, I mean, quickly, you have reacted to playing on Master Keyboard super quickly. Um, I've noticed your aim was spot on. I mean, the kills you got were easy, but um, you kind of, I mean, you hit every shot, right? So, like, the shotgun fight at the start, super good kill. Um, the shotgun fight at the end, super good kill, and, and you hit your snipe. So, really good stuff on that. Um, just to jump into things you can work on is the drop, okay? So at the very start of the game, your drop gets a little messed up. If you see on the mini-map when you're dropping in, you're actually going to hit that mountain. So if you could wait a little bit longer, try to hit the river to the left of you, and you'll get a much, much better drop so you don't have any, like, weird things happening, like people 50 50 you for a chest or anything like that. If you drop somewhere just much better, you'll, you'll get it for free. Okay, so moving forward, um, when you're boxed up and you're looking at people to snipe, when you're having snipe and everything like that, um, when you're boxing up, let's look out of the cone. So if you box up, put a floor and roof above you, and you edit that floor and look out of the cone, um, you'll, you'll be able to look everywhere for free, right? You're not overexposing yourself. You have a build in your way. If people start shooting at you, you're totally fine, okay? So what I notice a lot is you're overexposing yourself to like open areas and enemies on the uh, map. So really use that cone. And then when you're looking for these snipes, just third person peek until you see that opportunity to snipe, right? So third person, third person, just look over the wall. Once you're ready, come up, take that shot, you know, move, moving forward like that. Um, at the end, really try to use your builds to your advantage. So you had somebody box up in all of your builds. So really try to use those edits to find your advantages and find peaks that he's not ready for or that you just get the straight advantage from. So like right hand peaks or something like that. So I mean, all in all, the game was good. Um, I was very impressed by your aim and your edits. Your edits were actually super clean, and your aim was actually super clean for uh, switching to mouse and keyboard. So really, really good stuff on that. Um, moving forward, what I would really work on for you is um, how to work around your own builds. And so what I mean by that is when you're fighting and you have someone boxed up, work work on how to like take advantage of all your uh, opportunities. So like edit this, or if you have a build, you edit this, this is what I can do. Or if... Um, if I edit a window here, I can take that right hand peek for free, basically, you know, anything like that. So I'd really, if I were you, I'd practice a ton, a ton of box fights, okay? And so really quickly, what I would do like almost every day is I would jump into creative and just free build, you know? Just get used to all your binds, uh, all your builds, and work on new things, right? If you see new cool tarps or new cool builds that you want to do from like pro players or content creators, go feel free to do that stuff. It's I mean, it's free building. It's, it's whatever you want to want, want to do. It's just like... It's just a way to get used to everything, to work on stuff, it, it, and it's it's easy warm-ups, you know. You, you just get your fingers going and everything like that. After that, I would try to find a friend or uh, use the matchmaking system to find some box fights. Um, I think box fights can help you so much, and it doesn't take anything crazy to do box fights. It just shows you really, like, how you can take advantage of things. Um, if, if you've never done box fights before, first I would watch YouTube videos. There's a lot of tips and techniques you can use when watching YouTube videos to kind of understand box fights more and then take those tips and tricks and, and use them in your own game. After that, I would do zone wars. So zone wars is when things really get hectic. I know you're playing a normal game, so the zone really wasn't moving, but in zone wars, it'll, it'll, it'll start moving. So if you really want to take your game to the next level, um, after your box fights, really work on zone wars. And so this stuff will help you. I mean just with your fights, just with getting used to mouse and keyboard, everything. So that's really what I would do um, to help you improve is is really just stay in creative almost as much as you can right now and just get used to everything and, and just get much more sound mechanically um, and get everything just as used to you were when you were on console or mobile um, before. So good games. Uh, I'm looking forward to your next review. Okay.